We need to fat shame these people, okay? Fat shaming will make you lose weight. Oh, what's up, what's up everybody? It's your boy Navoy and I'm back at it again today. Uh, and this today is not really like the normal type of video. I had the flu like I want to say two weeks ago. So today what I'm gonna mainly be talking about is just a couple questions that I got asked by a couple people. So I thought, okay, I'll just throw it all in one video. So the first question is, should I work out when I'm sick? Even if you got the cold, stay your ass at home, all right? You're sick. You're gonna be touching the weights, you're gonna be touching the machines, you're gonna be touching all this, you know, the handles on the doors and blah, blah, blah. You're gonna get everybody else sick, and then that's gonna cause everyone in the gym to get sick. When I used to work at LA Fitness, you would always see it. As soon as one person was sick, or you, you know, Let's say it was a group group of three guys, three girls that would come to the gym and one of them wasn't there. They say, oh, she's sick. You would see everyone in the gym. You wouldn't see them for maybe three or four days, the regular people. This is very common at gyms. Gyms, are, there's a lot of germs there. Stay your ass at home. Another one is, I see a guy at the gym all the time who's very big, but he has really bad form. How is this possible? Well, you know, trends really hard. He yeah, and now bar gives up. Well, you guys gotta understand, like steroids are just like, it's crazy. There's studies that show you can literally just take juice and go to a job where you sit at a desk and then chill, you know, do nothing, not even work out and you will gain muscle. Get it predicated on your genetics. So if you see a guy at the gym that's using bad form, but he's really big, nine times out of 10, number one, he's always gonna look the same unless he has to start taking more stuff and then by doing so, then you'll get bigger, but at the same time, he won't be able to do it without all that stuff. And that's really important. Like, if you even if you want to take that stuff, there's nothing wrong with that. Do you, like I always say, fucking do you. As long as you're not molesting kids or raping bitches, fucking do you. But my whole thing is, what you gotta make sure is, before you take any kind of stuff like that, at least have five years, five, six years where you worked out with nothing because then you'll understand how to gain muscle, how to eat, what foods your body react to. And then you have a solid foundation because I see it all the time where you'll see a guy at the gym, he's fucking huge and then he has to get off that stuff. And then you see him like on the street or blah, 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 or you see him actually come to the gym off cycle and he looks like shit, looks like a little fucking little girl. So my thing is, if you don't want to be so de dependent on that stuff to where you're nothing without it. So that's my personal suggestion. And the last question is, is sugar bad for you? This is, I guess, mainly is because of this other video that was recently put up by another YouTube guy named Kenny K.O. And he was talking about how you eat a lot of these different coaches when they do meal plans for people, they exclude sugar because sugar is bad, blah, 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 for fat loss. Now, on a macro level, yes, it, you know, sugar won't really kill you. You know, I eat maybe a rice cake every night, like a little small one with that has chocolate on top of it. You know, nothing too bad. But in my personal opinion, let's say you were to eat, you know, a candy bar every day and that candy bar had 400 calories. Why not use that 400 calories of candy bar and use it for something that's actually healthy? Yeah, you're losing weight, but you want to lose it in a healthy way. Me personally, I went, like, when I was first started getting into working out, I was super, like, into it, so I didn't really eat no sugar, and after a while, when you stop eating your sugar, you really don't miss it. If you do the research, sugar's so fucking bad for you. I think sugar's actually worse for your heart than fat is. There was a, I think it was in the 60s or the 50s, the sugar companies paid off Food and Drug Administration in the U.S. By the Food and Drug Administration paying off all these different companies and so the media and all these different people are going to be looking at fat as being the main reason for heart disease but if you do your research sugar is the main reason i mean sugar is it's very bad for you like there was a time when you would eat like you know a cookie or a cake once in a while now we have it in a di our society where sugars in almost everything people eating cakes and muffins and all this other shit every day and this is the reason why there's so many fat asses dying from heart problems and in my opinion we need to fat shame these people, okay? Fat shaming will make you lose weight if everyone's call, calling you, you know, by your name about you being a fat ass. Now, personally, of course, if you have a you know, certain type of problem, your body reacts to sugar a certain way, but at the end of the day, if you're trying to lose weight, there's nothing wrong with eating sugar, but at the same time, you just eat fruit or some shit. Like, and if you have a coach that's telling you don't eat sugar at all, you know, maybe you should check the credentials. But at the end of the day, sugar's not gonna kill you. I mean, in moderation, 
it won't kill you. But if you're one of these people eating, you know, sweets every day, or at least a lot of sweets every day, you're gonna fucking die of a heart problem, or you're gonna start developing problems a lot faster than what you're supposed to. So that's pretty much all I got to say today. I'm gonna make sure the next week you're gonna have the regular Friday video of me at the gym talking shit, blah, blah, blah. Have the fail video and, and sometime next week, probably on this weekend and so. Just wanted to make, make something for y'all. Yeah, make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment. I'm gonna be back on that, you know, the normal coonery next week. It's your boy Navoy, I'm out.